Britt has gone to work again for a couple of hours and left me alone. Oh no. So, you know me, can't sit still. Gotta go get something done. I have to get things done, otherwise I feel, I feel bad at the end of the day, you know? You gotta get something done. So, our old address, uh, or our old address, our new address, we need to get our uh, mail forwarded from our old address to our new address, is what I'm saying. We haven't done that yet, and we've already been here for, what, a couple of weeks? So, we, what we do is we get the mail forwarded, so if anybody mails, like if our bills or anything go to our old address, it gets forwarded here instead. And then when we get the mail here, it says that it's been forwarded. We can look at who sent it to the wrong address and get a hold of those people and change the address the next time they send us something, it comes here. It gives us, like we do this for about three months maybe, or a month to three months, and then that gives us a little bit of time to uh, to make sure we don't forget anything. Because when you move, like we've been getting mail from the old people who live here, or from the old owners from this house, we've been getting mail from them uh, every day pretty much. And some of it is actually pretty important mail from like the government. So I'm like, they may want to change your address. And that's why you forward the address. So it wouldn't come to me, it would go to their new address and then they can change it, right? You get it? Okay, so I'm gonna go to the post office right now and get that done. As easy as that. Brought in the piece of paperwork with all the stuff filled out already. Another thing crossed off the list. We've got a lot of things crossed off the list this week. I don't know what else there is besides organizing at the house. I was gone for 10 minutes. Really? You were gone forever. I miss you so much. Look at him. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Okay. <laughs> Our neighbors love dogs. He came over and talked to me before and said, Oh, don't you worry about your dogs. Because, uh, like, he came around the corner here and I was on the front porch and he said hi to me. And uh, I said, Oh, sorry. Our, our dogs, we, we keep them quiet. They don't usually bark like that. They're just getting used to a new property. They don't know where their boundaries are yet. And he says, You know what? Don't worry. Don't worry. I love dogs. All my kids have dogs. And don't worry, even if they were to bark all night, I take my hearing aids out for night, I can't hear anything. <laughs> He's a funny guy. Uh, he sounds like he has a British accent. Uh, I like the guy. He was really nice. Uh, so that's, that's our neighbor on that side. The neighbor on this side, we... I don't even know if they exist. You never see them. Saw them once and they were very nice people. Uh, but we do keep these guys quiet though. Out of respect, you know? It's just every once in a while we get all crazy. Every once in a while we get all crazy. Hey. The boss. Frankie, he doesn't like it when people have fun. I'm too old for this. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. Did you survive the 10 minutes without me? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Chev, you're such a weird boy. But you're beautiful. You're beautiful. Look at you. Handsome man, handsome man. I would take him on the truck more with me. Uh, I, I know that a, a lot of you ask, why don't I take Chevy on the truck? Chevy is a homebody. He doesn't like leaving home. He gets stressed out just going to our spot, like our land. Uh, I think that's what we're gonna call it. I told you yesterday we were gonna talk about it, but uh, I think Britt and I, we really like, we're gonna call it our spot, the land outside of town. And when we take Chevy there, it's a little bit of a hike. It's not too far away, but it's a little bit of a drive and he doesn't like car rides at all. He freaks out, and when he gets stressed out, his uh, body releases this odor, this smell. And he starts to smell like a dog. And usually he smells like a little fluffy air freshener, right? So you can always tell when he's kind of having a hard time with something. But you smell great right now, bud. And that's why I don't take him on the road with me. He's He doesn't like car rides like a, like a normal dog. <laughs> he likes being here at home. And he's also very protective over Brit. If he doesn't want you close to Brit, you're not getting close to Brit. And that was the whole purpose of getting a, a dog for Brit at home while I was on the road. So he does his job very well. He looks like a big fluffy teddy bear. But you look at my wife the wrong way, he turns into a big violent wolf. Right, Chevy? I'm a fluffy teddy bear. You can you got a you got a pretty guardian spirit, I'd say. You got a mean side, man. 
I can't even hug her. If I hug her too aggressively, if like we run up to each other and I hug her, he gets all mad and splits us up. It's a good boy. We encourage that though. You're supposed to protect mom, right? 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 You want you want the belly rubs? You want you want the belly rubs? You want the belly rubs? The belly rubs. The belly rubs. <laughs> Are you passing out belly rubs, man? I'll take some, please. Can I get the senior discount? metal posts that we can stake into the ground and a chain to go across our driveway at our spot. Our spot. Man, we like that. Rolls yeah. off the tongue. Yes. Ian Al Alfano? Al I still don't know how to pronounce your last name, man. I'm sorry. Ian. Ian Facebook. You never showed it to me, so I don't know how to pronounce it. I'd probably pronounce it properly. She's got to show it to me first. It's really windy out here right now. Here's our spot. We're back. And Diesel's very excited back there, aren't you, Diesel? Are we at our spot? Diesel? He's all, he's all quiet now. Diesel, <laughs> where are we? Chevy. Can we go run now? He <laughs> hates car rides. So we're pounding these steel stakes into the ground about a foot, foot and a half, and then hanging a chain across the driveway just to sort of make it plain to the locals that, hey, new owners are in town. Trusty axe, and my wife trusts me with her life. <sighs> there we go. Now we're just gonna hang a no trespassing sign in the center here yet to make it obvious so that nobody on a quad or snowmobile misses that chain. Cause you know, that's where that liability insurance would come in. Someone breaks onto your property and hurts themselves on your property, you're held liable. We have to have insurance for stupid people. Ah, the backwards world in which we live. No kidding, eh? Yeah, there we go, that should make it pretty clear. New owners in town. Hi. Nope. All right, okay, now we can enjoy our evening here. Yet you brought the mowers just in case we wanted to mow a little bit more. A little windy. Gonna make this as nope the other way. Gonna lift it up as high as we can. Oh well. You can never sneak up on anybody with this thing. What did you find? A little burrow, like a fox den or something. Yeah, it looks like about the size of a fox. It's not a skunk den, is it? Oh gosh, I hope not. Uh, hold on. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, look at that. Looks like a fox, hey? Yeah, something small. Fox for... Really interested in it. Guys, if it's a skunk, I'm gonna be very upset with you both. It like went on either side of me while I was exploring back here. They wouldn't leave my side. Nice. My little protective service. <laughs> kind of a big deal. Secret service. Right. Yep. Her addition. Right yeah, I don't think the, that den would be anything to worry, worry about. about. I, hope I don't, not. I don't skunks know. Would suck. I don't think skunks burrow into holes, though. I don't know. I don't know. Actually, I thought beavers were omnivores and not vegetarians. So <laughs> I suck at Manitoba wildlife. Now we had way worse than that on the old property. So we hung out for a little while, made a little bit more progress here. Cleared out this space here. So we at least have room to turn around now in here. And I started clearing back here. We'll finish another day. It's getting a little late today. And there's a wind coming out of the north, so it's probably gonna start getting cold again. Looks like the doors were blown in by the wind over there. Oh well, I have to fix that anyway.
Everybody ready? Diesel, you guys all tuckered out? Go home, take the little guys for a walk on the block. Good idea. Boy, I'm gonna have to uh, take that chain down. We locked ourselves in the yard. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Who's this? Who's this? Where did you, did you go to the place without us? Hi, How dare you? You Hi. smell like nature. He just cares about you. He doesn't care that I'm home. Oh, you Sorry. brought him. I care. I like you, buddy. Hi, Frank. Hi, Wiener. Hi, buddy. Yeah, I'll go get the big guys, I guess. Yeah, I'll just put the stuff down to help you. You gotta stay in here. One at a time. Come on, Diesel. I'll be right back, Chevy. Got a wee You want me to get Chevy or you got him? Yeah. Got him? All right, Diesel, let's go in. Oh, yeah. Hey, Chef. I see you there. Hey, Chef. Hey, buddy. You home? He's so excited. You're too big to see through there, buddy. Guys, oh, reunited, and it feels so good. <laughs> Always a warm welcome. <laughs>